Hey, it's Clint. Uh, today's lesson is going to be a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite parts about internet marketing. Um, I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page, a squeeze page, and a light box for your website. And the reason why we need an opt-in form for our website uh, is because this is how we're going to capture all of our leads and this is how we're going to build an email list. Like I said before, an email list is one of our biggest assets to our company, okay? Because this is going to build a list of subscribers and these subscribers are going to become our audience and these are going to be loyal people who will always buy from us in the future because we're giving them valuable content in our follow-up sequence. But if you have no way to get them onto your follow-up sequence, then you're going to be stuck in the mud and you're not going to do very well in this business. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. I'm going to show you uh, how to create these opt-in forms and before I do that, I want to show you a few examples. So uh, if you come to our website, you'll see a red button on my homepage and I'm sure a lot of you have already clicked that. When you click it, you'll see a light box pop up. Um, and a light box is basically an opt-in page that fades in while the background fades out. And this will keep the user's attention solely on your opt-in page. They won't have the background to distract them. Um, and another benefit of using a light box is that people will stay on your website. So if you send somebody to your light box and they don't want to opt in right away, they can just exit out and they'll still be on your website. If you send somebody to a squeeze page, and they don't want to opt in right away, they're going to exit out and they're going to be uh, somewhere completely different. They're going to be away from your website and you don't want that. You want to keep the visitor on your website. Uh, this is going to give you more uh, rank in Google and obviously it's going to give you more sales. Okay, so I'm going to show you another example of a light box that I created. I'm going to go to my blog. And then here in the sidebar I've got the MLM Zing light box. And it's very nice, really pretty, and uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. Okay, so that is a light box. I'm going to show you how to create a squeeze page as well. And this is a squeeze page. It's basically a standalone page that has an opt-in form in the center. And uh, you're going to want to use squeeze pages to promote your website. Okay, so instead of sending somebody to your website where you hope they'll opt into your opt-in form, you're going to send somebody straight to a squeeze page where the only choice they have is to opt into your opt-in form, okay? So ultimately, this is the page that you want to promote, okay? Um, so this is a squeeze page that I uh, created for a friend of mine. Uh, this is my uh, passive income guide squeeze page that I created. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen a variation of this. And then I also have a fat loss factor squeeze page. This is uh, for a product on ClickBank. And it's just another good example of what you can do uh, with these squeeze pages. Okay, so my secret weapon. Let me show you guys how I create these opt-in forms. I use a WordPress plugin that is called Hybrid Connect. And Hybrid Connect was created by um, an internet marketer named Shane Mala. All of his products, guys, are absolutely amazing. If you guys get a chance to check out Shane, um, you can actually use the link below this video if you'd like to get to know who this guy is. And it'll take you to this Hybrid Connect website. Uh, this is my favorite plugin by far, just because it's so much fun to use and it's very simple. Um, and this is what I use to create all of my opt-in forms. Um, you can create a short code. A short code uh, is basically a piece of code that you stick inside of your post or your page so that your form will show up wherever you put the code. A widget is a sidebar opt-in form. Uh, the light box, I showed you what that was earlier. And the squeeze pages, I showed you what those are earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to create a squeeze page for your website. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new connector. So I'm going to click on Add a New Connector. And for connector name, I'm just going to call this demo, D-E-M-O, and click on Save Connector. Okay, and then when I scroll all the way down, I can see that I've just added uh, this new connector. And I'm going to go ahead and create a squeeze page. So I'm going to click on the Edit button in that column. And this is the default opt-in form that uh, opens up when you open up this connector. So I'm going to go ahead and change this uh, template. And this is completely customizable. You guys can do anything you want to this um, squeeze page. So I'm going to choose a nice template here. Let's see if I can find one for an example. We'll use this for an example. OK, and uh, to change the text, all you have to do is click on Enter Your Text. 
and you can change all this. So I'm going to change this to learn how to create opt-in forms or grab this free opt-in form course. And then here I'm going to put uh, learn how to make an opt-in form in minutes. All right, and then I'm going to, uh, let's see, it's not saving over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to customize, and then you'll see that I can um, completely customize the appearance of my opt-in form. So if I wanted to make it wider, I could just mess around with this. If I wanted to make the uh, opt-in box higher, I can mess around with that. So you can do anything you want. You just have complete flexibility, and you can do whatever you want with this thing. Uh, the template background color, I'll change that to blue. And then I want to make the button match. So I'll go down to the button settings. I'll click on that. I'll change the button to blue as well. And then the border of the button, I'm going to turn to, I'm going to switch to a light blue. Okay. And then you can also uh, change the background image. So for example, if you don't like the background image here, you can go to uh, picture background, click on that, and then you can upload your own image. I'm just going to leave it the same. And then um, you can add an image if you'd like. Uh, but there is no image. I don't know where the default image is at. But anyways, you can add an image to the corner of your um, opt-in form if you wanted to. And you can actually move your image wherever you wanted to using these sliders. I get to add arrows to my opt-in form, which look nice. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and leave those there. And then um, I'm going to go over to squeeze page settings. And then for display settings, I can change the uh, background. So if I wanted a picture background, I could upload um, a picture background. And that's this is this is your display right here. This is what you're going to see when this opt-in form pops up. And you can see the background right now is white. And so I'm going to upload an image for the background. And I'm going to use the uh, let's see if I can find it the beach background that I uploaded. Okay, here's the beach wallpaper. I'm going to show that. And then I'm going to um, select the link URL. I'm going to copy the link URL. I'm going to close this box and then put the link URL here in this box. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new page that I can show this on. So um, the page is going to be pretty much the canvas for this uh, opt-in page. So I'm going to go back to my uh, Moneybox website. I'm going to go ahead and log in to the dashboard. And then I'm going to click on Pages and Add New. And this is going to be my opt-in demo page. So I'm just going to call it opt-in demo. And then just click on Publish. And that's all you really need to do to make a Canvas page for your uh, opt-in form. Okay, once that's done, go back to your Hybrid Connect, and then uh, you're probably going to have to click on Save Changes, just so that it'll update this list here. All right, I'm going to go back into that connector, so click on Edit. All right, and then when we go to the uh, Display Settings, here you can see the background updated. Um, I'm going to select the page that I just created for this opt-in page. So let me see if I can find that page. What did I call it? Opt-in demo. Here it is. So I'm going to click on that. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Enable the Squeeze page and click on Save Changes. All right, let's go back to that page. And now if I click on View Page, I'm going to open that up in a new tab. And there's the opt-in form that we created. You guys can see how easy that is. It didn't take me more than uh, 10 minutes to create a, good, a nice looking opt-in form. So this is what I suggest you use. You can um, create a squeeze page. Uh, you can do Lightbox in the same amount of time, widgets, short codes. They're all extremely easy to create. Uh, keep in mind if you guys want to create opt-in forms for like mobile marketing, it's going to work on phones, this will work on tablets, and this will also work on any computer. So make sure you grab Hybrid Connect, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.